Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Manakshi, and if you're watching me for the first time, I'm glad to have you here. Well, a quick introduction: this channel doesn't fall under a specific category because I want to explore and make videos on a lot of things. So if you happen to like my video, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and also drop your feedback under the comment section. It's really gonna help me out. So let's get started with today's video, which is about. Five women-centric Indian documentaries that you should watch on Netflix. Okay, let me move to my right side and to your left side so that I can put the posters here. Okay, let's get started. My first recommendation is Daughters of Destiny. This documentary features five girls from India's poverty-stricken Dalit population who are given an opportunity at Shanti Bhavan. Now, this is a boarding school that accepts 24 preschool students, both girls and boys. and provide free education till 12th standard so that these kids can improve the standard of living of their family divided in four parts this documentary shows how this opportunity changes the lives of these five girls but at the same time the barriers the struggles they have to go through the documentary was shot over 7 years so you really do get to see their journey in detail and how they aim to break the cycle of poverty my second recommendation has to be a suitable girl if you have come across indian matchmaking well this is something similar and also seema aunty's first stint in front of the camera yes you heard it right she is a part of this award winning documentary that narrates the story of three indian women and their marriages and guess what seema aunty's daughter is one of them was a financial consultant now as i said the storyline is something similar so kitna bhi criticize kar lo be deep down we know it's a reality so to change the perspective you need to watch the reality so talking about the documentary it shows the process of how marriages in india to be precise arranged marriages in india are done it shows how cruel the process can be if one's values determined by looks instead of in a world it does not take the obvious route of good versus bad in regards to the whole process but it does give an honest perspective about the role a woman is often forced to take after marriage in india my third recommendation is limitless now this 60 minute documentary talks about the struggles faced by female runners in india it features eight women from different social strata including a woman from Mumbai who worked as a household help and now is earning a living by participating in running events i would say just watch the documentary because it will make you think that how a woman has to struggle even to run hey guys sorry for the interruption so while editing i realized that my storage got full and it just stopped recording but anyways i'll do the recommendation again so my fourth recommendation is bachelor girl if you have ever stayed alone or are currently staying alone you will relate to this even though the documentary is focused on single women staying in mumbai but no matter what wherever you're staying in any part of india you will relate to this it shows when a woman wants to stay alone how she is questioned for n number of things which is not needed i have been staying in hyderabad and i remember how i wanted to move to a place near to my office so that i don't have to travel for hours and my parents were okay with that fact in fact they were supportive but on the other hand uh people questioned me and they question about if i was married or not and how can my parents let me stay alone even though they are staying in the same city uh so it was all unwanted and when i moved uh finally uh with two more girls uh so a guy came once to our place even though the door was open we were questioned uh the character was questioned so it's that scenario it also happens with men but here uh women gets questioned for their clothes for the character for a lot of other things so uh if you have ever stayed alone as i said you should watch this documentary my fifth and last recommendation is ladies first now this is a story of dipika kumari so if you don't know her she won a gold medal in commonwealth which happened in 2010 and now she is ranked world number 9 even though once upon a time she was number 1 so the documentary's real focus is on the difficulties a young woman has to face especially in a developing country 
and how there is always a demand for medals but there is a lack of resources so do take your time out and watch this documentary because you should and that is all i have to share it with you guys don't forget to watch these five documentaries because it's beautifully short and will give you an immense knowledge about a lot of things so don't forget to watch it and if you have liked the video don't forget to like share and subscribe till then bye